Oh! Oh, do you have show? What's your tattoos? tattoos? It's Salt's Third Wheel Dates, the Christian dating show where I, Lauren Windle, do the matching and then crash your blind date. With three engagements under our belts, we are feeling pretty smug. If the dates are matched, the couples will go on an all expenses or some expenses paid date IRL in real life. But if the sparks don't fly, they'll select URL, which means the viewers get a chance to drop them a message on the link or URL and ask them out. In a new edition, any pair that goes on a date that doesn't end in a relationship will still be given the URL option. So you can basically ask any of them out if you want. You're welcome. For fun, I like to play games with my friends, play music, and go traveling. Work out. I like to go to comedy nights, uh, and I love to read and write. This is Joshua, a 26-year-old logistics planner from Basingstoke, who laughs in the face of social convention that says not to wear hats indoors. While here is Dallas, the 26-year-old American-born writer who is based in London, chasing the British dream. More Greg's, less fame and fortune. What makes me a great partner is that I am really caring, funny, I like to look after people. I'm always up for the laugh, I'm going after the joke. In a partner, my most important character trait is honesty and communication, someone who is, feels comfortable that they can talk to me about anything. Definitely a sense of humour. My biggest red flag would be someone who's selfish or kind of thinks too much about themselves. When a guy doesn't have any female friends, I feel like that like is a clue that they don't really see women as people. My celebrity crush is Selena Gomez and the ideal date would be if she took me to the Eras tour later this year and then she can introduce me to her best friend Taylor Swift and we can all have a party together. Paul Maskell. I recently discovered we have the same birthday, which is yesterday. So maybe I'd go to like a birthday party with him and we could celebrate together. I've also heard that he um, runs away from his dates uh, the next morning. He'll take them to the park and then like, like leg it, just like run away. So I need to just start training. Obviously there's no guarantees that when you introduce two people, they'll fancy each other, but I'm sorry, we're getting better at these matches. These two are both quirky, they're both interesting, they both love music, they both put themselves out there in different ways. I think that this is a match. This is gonna be the best day ever. Okay. And you look fab. Thank you. And you're super fun and sassy and confident. Mm -hmm. Maybe we should stand like this, like they tell you to do in the mirror before a, a job interview, you know. I don't know. Hello! Joshua, meet mm -hmm. Dallas. Dallas. Dallas, meet Joshua. Nice, nice to meet nice you. To meet you too. <laughs> Are you from Dallas? No, I get that question every single day of my life, mm. but I um, was born in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. And I was named Same after state. my great grandmother, oh, who nice. was named after Dallas County, Alabama. Oh, Alabama. So, mm -hmm. another state. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. quite cool. It's quite a mix of things. Mm. <laughs> but then you grew up in a whole nother state. Yeah, in Chicago. In Chicago. And then you studied in a whole nother state. I went to New York. New York? Ah. Oh. Yeah. That's like one of the places, bucket places I want to go to. Yeah. New York. You're not been? Yeah. No, I haven't been to America. Me and my friend are planning like a, a trip to go to all 50 states. Oh, wow. That's ambitious. What? Yeah. Why? Why? Because it's They're fun. not all 50 worth visiting. Yeah, well... well how are you going to do Alaska and Hawaii? Yeah, we haven't planned that bit yet. <laughs> well, I wanted to play Pointless, right? Okay. But I can't because I don't have the board game. And if you download oh. the app, you need to also have the board game. How annoying yeah. is that? I have the board game, but I didn't bring it. Joshua. <laughs> well, where Let's were you? Let's call the whole thing off. Yeah. Where was I? Mm. That's it. Was... Game over. <laughs> Why would I want to play Pointless, Joshua? Because I was on Pointless. You were on Pointless? Yeah. Oh my God, that's so there. cool. <laughs> Yeah, we, me and my friend from uni, we got to the head-to-head -head round. Oh, dang. So yeah, I really wanted the trophy though, so I was a bit disappointed. But we, when we lost, we lost on a question about Andy Murray. Do you remember any of the questions you got? One of them was, um, name a Prime Minister of the UK whose surname is more than five letters, I think. Okay. okay. Who would you go for? Margaret Thatcher? Yeah, I'd imagine that one's not pointless, but it is correct. <laughs> yeah. It is correct. correct. Yeah. yeah. Well done. What did you say? Uh, I said Benjamin Disraeli. Okay, and was that? That was, it wasn't pointless, but it was correct. And I was quite 
pleased about that one. Wow, good. <laughs> yeah, but there, there was another there was another one, um, US state with an even number of letters. M I S S I S S I P P I. That's eleven. That's me out. Wait, Colorado. Yeah, I think that wouldn't be pointless though. No. Ma Maryland. My time on Sporkle is coming into its own now. Yeah. People don't think about it much. No. And it's round like a cookie on the map. Is it? Is it? Yeah. So what's fun about both of you guys is, no, no, I had a thing. You didn't have to like be like, okay, I'm fun because. Um, you both make music. Do we do? Nice. We do. Oh no. <laughs> We do. Joshua, tell us about... You're on Spotify. Yeah. We can find you on Spotify. We should put a link. Should we yeah. put a link? If you want to put yeah. a link. Boof, link. <laughs> um, what kind of music do you do? It's probably class of like pop or rock. Kind okay. Of like stuff mm -hmm. with, on my guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just write songs with really sad, depressing lyrics in them. Oh, nice. Yeah, fine. I love, <laughs> I love, I love depressing music. Yeah, I'm a too. big Phoebe Bridgers fan. Ah. Yes, yeah. I haven't listened to it, but I know a lot of people like her. Um, good. Like good. Maisie Peters. Can you sing us one of your songs? Most depressing. The most, most melancholic. One. Yeah, yeah, bring us down. Yeah. Oh my gosh, is that you with the tick? Yeah. <gasps> He's got a blue tick on. <laughs> oh! Wow. Oh Wait, gosh, this is such a cool pick so of you. Cool. Oh. oh, do you have. Show us your tattoos! tattoos. Wow. wow. Coming. <laughs> so wait, hang on. This is a cross. Yeah, for Jesus. For Jesus. We love him. These are stars for America. Wow. Yes. Sure. Kind of. Uh, what's this then? That is a hidden blade from the Assassin's Creed, the game. <laughs> cool. <laughs> what's, oh, here we go. what's this then? A snake. a snake. Why have you got a snake? Uh... And then is this rope? Oh no, this I wonder is if he knows that snake. in Christianity no, snakes are bad. And then, and, then a, and then a sun. Talk to us about the sun and the snake. The sun is from the film Tangled, like the Disney film. Oh, oh my god! Oh, you are cute. <laughs> the snake is because I'm a, a fan of Taylor Swift. Oh my god, really? I'm a, I'm a huge Taylor Swift fan. Really? This is a Reputation Era scene? Yeah, I got it during the Reputation Era. And oh my god! There are thirteen rocks surrounding the snake. Because wow, because Taylor Swift's favorite number is 13. Oh, to a lucky number. She's so alternative. Oh my gosh, Tay Tay, <laughs> classic her. I'm tired of myself. What's under this one? Nothing. No. Just, oh. I've got a music note. Music note. So I am tatted up myself. Yeah. Are you oh, ready? Show bad. us. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the planet. Absolutely covered. Is yeah. Because you're out of this This world? is my sleeve of tattoos. Okay, that is. <laughs> Oh gosh, what does this monstrous, huge, gargantuan <laughs> tattoo signify? So it's the planet Saturn. Okay. Um, it's a reminder that God created the whole universe, not just the Earth. Okay, I love that. Look how much you have in common. Both have sleeves. Um, so, oh gosh, okay, hang on. Of Josh's most popular five songs, um, I'm gonna read out the titles and you can pick the one that you want to hear okay, okay. Oh, gosh. um why do you have to fall in love Ooh. is the first nice. one okay so that's that she opens her eyes 2023 remix uh, life sucks <laughs> you're gonna... <laughs> this is real you're gonna die alone <laughs> and loner song Wow. Can you feel the teen you know, angst? You have like quite a few streams. Mm -hmm. you're, mm -hmm. you're doing well. I really want to hear you're going to die alone. Yeah, that feels right, doesn't it? next day make you happy. I don't have to think twice about it. Take my life. Read my lips. It's building up to this. I want you to know you're gonna die alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, feedback, Josh. <laughs> I was a bit angry when I wrote that one. Number one, <laughs> you've got a great voice. You do. You've got a great, voice. Got a great it's, voice. It's very. It's very Blink like. 182, you know, like. It's very like mid 2000s. Mid 2000s. Yeah. My second piece of feedback is. Can we pray for you? <laughs> you know? Like, can we lay hands? Mm -hmm. You're not gonna die alone. You'll die with Jesus. 
I was, I mean, I was singing it to someone else. Who? That's so mean. <laughs> That's so mean. Yeah, no. Do we well. want to take this opportunity to <laughs> repent of that? Yeah. So you're not the only one who writes original music. So uh, I went viral on TikTok. Yeah. Because I saw a baby fox. I was living in Alabama. It was COVID. Mm -hmm. And I saw a baby fox and it was on the dock. Mm -hmm. And then it got off the dock and went into the woods. Okay, great. The baby fox on the dock, and it got out the dock. There was a baby fox on the dock. And there's the baby fox in the woods, the baby fox in the woods. Ooh, it's a baby fox, baby fox. The baby nice. fox on the dock, and it got out the dock. I mean, I lyrical. Was... Yeah. Beauty. Heartbreaking. Yeah. It's really good. It's I just think those that's, moments that you That's kind of, when it exited the woods, that's probably when out of the woods was inspired yeah <laughs> big time yeah that is yeah that is just beautiful this show is sponsored by christians who curse sometimes where we love jesus but also mess up and curse a little christians who curse sometimes provides daily discussion topics articles and resources to grow your faith and grow community by taking the online offline i've worked up a bit of an appetite Okay. Is there is there food? Has anyone brought me food to support food for the date? Is there uh, snacks? Is that there snacks? is. Yeah. Yay! Yay to snacks! Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that is a strong. Ooh. That's a nine out of ten snack. That Josh. That's a ten out of ten snack. What's that? What's in the box? Okay. What's in the box? Ooh. Oh. Okay. It's like a flower of red velvet. Yesterday was my birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you. So wait, 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 wait. Before you talk anymore. I love balloons. I feel so special. Oh my this God. is so fun. I'm the birthday boy. You're the <laughs> You're the birthday boy, girl. Ready? Happy birthday. Josh, Dallas mm -hmm. would love to know, what would you say to your teenage self? You are cooler than you think you are, and you can do anything which you want. I mean, when I grew up, I was kind of like, not one of the cool kids, and I didn't think I was able to like go out and learn to play. Like, I didn't think I was cool enough to play the guitar, or have tattoos, or go to the gym, or whatever. So I kind of just didn't even try to do any of that stuff. Mm. And then getting older, you kind of realize you can do whatever you want, like whatever you put your mind to. So I wish I realized that earlier. That's awesome. And Dallas, Josh wanted to know from you, what would be like your perfect day from start to finish? I had a near perfect day yesterday. Because mm, um, it was my birthday. Mm -hmm. So I kind of slept in and then I went and got a massage. Nice. And then I went to the gym and I did a class called athletic conditioning, um, which is a very, very sweaty. And then I talked, to, I had a delicious lunch and talked to my family on the phone. And then I um, went and got my hair done. You can't tell. Mm -hmm. um, it looks yeah. lovely. And then um, I got my makeup done for my birthday party. And then all my friends came over and we sang and danced and we played games and I felt very just like surrounded and lifted up and celebrated and it was yeah kind of a perfect day so yeah nice. yesterday was my first day that's so cool josh dallas mm -hmm. wanted to know what is god getting you excited about in the future kind of like just being more having more confidence to do a lot of extra things so like having confidence to go out and travel more or do more things which kind of make me happy and fulfilled rather than kind of sitting back and not doing anything mm -hmm. um like I said, me and my friend are planning the road trip across America and then we've got lots of other stuff which I want to do but I have kind of just not had the confidence to do it. Mm -hmm. But I felt recently some sort of urge inside me to just kind of like just, just do it. And I think that's God trying to tell me, trying to give me the confidence to go out and do those things. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Love that. And you're here. That's yeah. like, yeah. you're yeah. doing brave yeah. stuff. <laughs> confidence level 100. Yeah. Dallas. Josh wanted to know from you, like, how do you like to serve? I love to be on the welcome team at church. Mm. I always, I get there like an hour early and we do prayer ministry. So I'm like on the welcome team and the prayer team. And yeah, just like during the service, we like pray over people. And sometimes I feel 
like I'm being so articulate. I'm like, oh my God, like God is speaking <laughs> through me. Like, yeah. I, like Jesus is interceding. Like, <laughs> and then sometimes you like forget the person's name who you're praying over, and you gotta be like, Done that. Um, been there. I'm lifting up my sister in Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's chat to them one on one to see how they think it's going. You having okay. a good time? I have a really good time. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Josh? He's cute. He's cute, right? Yeah. You guys have clearly got stuff in common. Yeah. And there's so much you to still get to know about him, and so much he doesn't know about you as yeah. well. So I feel like it's just layers after layers. Mm -hmm. Josh, mm -hmm. you having a good time? Yeah. It's been fun. It's nice to see someone who kind of like has the same interests and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think we did well? Yeah, you've done really well. Also, like, you know how you said your dream date would be Selena Gomez? Yeah. She's not Selena Gomez, right? No, but she's got the same colour hair and style of hair and she's from the same place. She's literally as she's close as we Texas. could have got for you. <laughs> like, if we were looking for a Selena Gomez, mm -hmm. we found one. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you to me. Thank you, thank you to Salt. No, you don't. Yeah, right, thank you, Salt. Um, well. So, what do you, yeah, what do you think of, of Dallas? Yeah, no, I think she's really cool. She's really nice. Like I say, she's got like loads of similar interests, so I mm. think you would get on well. I really like that you're into music and you grew up watching Disney Channel mm. and all those <coughs> films and stuff like I did. Because it's really nice to find someone who can like, you can talk to about that type of stuff. You were on TikTok. I, I like TikTok. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Um, and that you went viral. So that was quite cool. And then you're quite creative because you made like the Fox song. Yeah. <laughs> I loved your willingness to share your talent with us and sing. Um, you obviously make really good music and um, you showed a lot of like confidence and, and, and swag, honestly. Oh. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Swag. Swag mm -hmm. stands for something we Asians got. <laughs> we've smashed it. It's a match. I think we're almost too good at this now. We've basically completed it. This is the part where our couple choose between IRL or URL. If they both pick IRL in real life, we'll send them off on a date without the cameras so they can get to know each other a little better. But if one or both of them go for URL, it's not been a match. And we'll put a link, or URL, in the notes below so that you can get in touch with them directly to ask them out yourself. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I chose IRL because you seem like really, a really cool person. I think you have a lot of things in common. Um, and I'd like to like get to know you more and like find out more things about you. You're very charming and you seem very uh, cool and fun. So I feel like we would get along and have a good time if yeah. we uh, hit the town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a match! <laughs> this means that these guys are going off for a date. We're not going to be there. I'm not going to be there, sadly, but they'll both be there and we look forward to hearing how they get on. If you want to join me on Salt's third wheel dates, you can apply using the link below. I might make you sing a duet and I'll definitely get you to show off all of your tattoos, but it'll all be good fun. And if there's no romantic connection between you and your date, it's okay. Because we'll give people watching at home the opportunity to drop you a message and ask you out and you never know who could be watching.